This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. One of the read-only properties we saw earlier was the has formula property that allowed us to see whether a cell contained a formula or not. What we can also do is actually access that formula, either to read it or to write it by using the formula property. So here's an example sheet, formulas.xlsm. If we go into the Visual Basic, you'll find we've already created the skeleton for a sub-procedure that we'll use to add the calculations to our Excel file. Calculations I'm referring to are the totals to be added into here, 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 and here, and then potentially an average down here. So how do we add a formula into a cell? Well, we simply use the range object again. Which cell would we like to place the formula into? Well, I'd like to place into B5 a formula, so dot formula, which is equal to, and the formula must be enclosed in speech marks, and it must be the whole formula, so equal sum, open brackets, B2, colon, B4, close brackets. So I'd like that formula to be placed into that cell. So let's take that and run. Back in the Excel, we see the formula has been placed in. And it's actually placed the formula in, not added up and placed the result in. All we need to do now is the others. So we're back to Visual Basic. Let's do a copy and paste because they're very similar. Go into C5, into D5, into E5. I want to take sum of C, C, D, to D, and E, to E. Calculate sums, return, and they're all in, apart from Friday. Five days in a week. When did that come about? F5 is going to receive the formula. F2 to F4. That's pretty straightforward stuff. All five are in there. Now, if we want to place a formula here, that perhaps is a little bit more complicated in that it's going to contain a formula that gives me an average of all the fruit sales over the week, but also encompasses a little bit of a text string as well. Well, let's do the average first. It's range open brackets, open speech marks, which cell would I like to place the formula in? It's going to be D10 dot formula is going to be equal to, don't forget it has to appear in speech marks, equals average, open brackets, B2 colon F4. Close the brackets for the average, close the speech marks for my VBA. It's happy, we rerun the procedure, and I then have the average here. That could do with formatting. We've already seen that we can format the number. So having created the formula in there, I'm then going to format the same cell. That's number format equals, and we'll just make it have two decimal places. However, having formatted that cell to receive that number format, what I would actually like is for this cell to contain a bit of text as well. A bit of text that says the average is. Well, I can do that. I can say equals open speech marks. The average is close speech marks. And then ampersand. We saw that earlier for concatenate the actual average. Now, already I'm sure you can see there's going to be a problem here in that I've opened and closed speech marks as far as the VBA is concerned, which leaves me with this loose the average is. If I go to the end of here and press return, this will have a serious fit. Compile error. Problem is, I can't put speech marks inside speech marks. Well, I can, if I delimit them with other speech marks. So you end up looking a little bit crazy, but it works. I put in another set of speech marks in front of those ones, and another set of speech marks in front of those ones. So if you actually want speech marks to appear in the result, which we will do in the formula, then we have to put a second set of speech marks for the VBA to be happy. And you'll see it doesn't have a problem. 
calculate. And we have a look and we get the average is 30.5333333. Now it's not formatted because this cell is now as far as Excel is concerned, a string. Therefore it cannot do the number format that we've applied. So instead we have to do the number format within the Excel. So instead of just saying average, we can encompass that in the text function, comma. And again, we want to put speech marks, but that will mess the VBA up. So we put another set of speech marks, then our 0, 0.00, close the speech marks, but then another set to delimit them, and then close the bracket for the text function. So the average function works itself out. The text function then reformats the result with two decimal places because of the 0, 0.00. The delimiting of the speech marks means that the speech marks gets treated as speech marks by Excel instead of by the VBA, which would see it as the end of a text string and therefore fall over really, crash. Click out, there isn't an error. We run the procedure and back in Excel, it then all works fine. The average is 30.53 because we've asked Excel to do the two decimal place formatting, because as far as Excel is concerned, that cell contains text, because we've put text in there as well as a number value. So this formatting here has no effect on the end result. Therefore, it's a little bit defunct, so we could comment it out. So this allows us to place formulas dynamically, programmatically, into Excel cells at any point we would want to place them, just by referencing that cell and the property dot formula.